Hello everyone, my name is Diego Ferrer and I'm a solutions engineer at Celesti Labs and today I'm going to talk about how you can deploy rollups with modular DA in minutes, right? <clears throat> um, before we get started, um, let's just quickly go over the agenda, like what's Celestia, you know, what type of rollups do we support, um, what's Rollkit, like how can you use Rollkit with Polaris, um, and also go a little bit like in detail about our Celestia OP stack integration and our Arbitrum Nitro integration. So what's Celestia? Um, one of the co-founders of Celestia, Mustafa, uh, recently had a tweet that said, Celestia is a modular data availability network that securely scales with a number of users, making it easy for everyone to launch their own blockchain. So let's try to go a little bit deeper into like, what each of those aspects actually means. So modular. Celestia is a modular blockchain because modular blockchains decouple the core functions of a blockchain, which are execution, settlement, consensus, and data availability. So over here is like a nice quick little diagram that kind of uh, showcases what it means to be modular. So if you think about chains like Solana or even Ethereum, they're monolithic chains because they, they uh, fulfill all the functions of a blockchain in a single layer, right? Execution, settlement, consensus, and data availability, where Celestia only focuses on consensus and data availability and delegates the job of settlement and execution to other parties, which in this case is rollups. How is data availability related to scaling? Well, with data availability, or more specifically, data availability sampling, uh, like clients, such as the ones that we have in Celestia, uh, users with the lowest hardware requirements are able to still verify the data availability of the chain without having to fully download a block of data, meaning that end user verif verifiability has really low hardware requirements for users across the network. The, mon the, the more demand there is of like Celestia block space, the more people are running like clients, the more people are sampling blocks, and the more people we have sampling blocks, the safer it is to essentially uh, make blocks bigger on Celestia without sacrificing the hardware uh, requirements to run a light node, right? So if you think about that compared to a chain like uh, Ethereum or even uh, more prevalent something like Solana, verifying the chain means like running really, really beefy hardware, right? It's like, a, it's a common relationship that we know, like if you look at the, the history of blockchains, if you want bigger blocks, meaning more space, more scalability, you usually increase the cost of like being able to verify the chain. But when you have data availability sampling like clients, verifying the chain cost dramatically decrease um, and yeah. Now, what does it mean to launch your own blockchain, right? So Celestia, again, only the state availability. We don't do settlement, we don't do execution. So there's really a lot of different flavors of sort of like rollups and stuff that you can build with Celestia. Uh, we're mainly gonna talk about sovereign rollups and just uh, Celestiums or Ethereum rollups that use Celestia for data availability. So what are sovereign rollups? You may or may not have heard of what they are before, but essentially a sovereign rollup takes care of both its own execution, but also its own settlement. So it's a self-settling blockchain or self-settling rollup, and it delegates consensus and data availability to another blockchain such as Celestia. Um, compared to a traditional smart contract rollup where you know we're all familiar with kind of how they work, right? They post data to a chain like Ethereum, and in that same chain, they settle through a smart contract and either handle disputes for a optimistic rollup or validity proofs for a secret rollup. A sovereign rollup doesn't um, have a smart contract to talk to since Celestia doesn't have smart contracts, but instead the verification of the um, validity of the state of the rollup is performed through proofs like fraud proofs or validity proofs um, that are uh, relayed peer to peer. How can you build a sovereign rollup? So it, at Celestia, we um, uh, some of the folks uh, created a public good library called Rollkit that allows you to build sovereign rollups um, using the Cosmos SDK. Um, and more recently, we integrated uh, the Rollkit library with a framework called Polaris from the Barachain folks, which allows you to build um, EVM uh, blockchains. And by combining Rollkit with Polaris, we're able to run um, sovereign EVM rollups. So how does that work? Um, the, that documentation PR is actually already like uh, merged to main, so if you just go to rollkit dev 
Um, you'll be able to go to the docs and see like, oh, what is Polaris? How can I use Polaris? But essentially, it's very simple. You clone the repo, you, start, you install Foundry, start the rollup, and you're done. So as an example, let's see if I can, uh, let's see. So I have that right here. Um, I already have the dependencies installed and whatnot. I am going to need to start a, uh, actually, let me bring that back because I need to copy paste the command. But essentially, the way you would do this uh, locally, right, before you interact with any Celestia testnet is that you would run a uh, local Celestia uh, container, which obviously you can do that with Docker. Let me get that. Uh, so now we have that, right? So we run that. Oh, I don't know why it's like messed up, man. All right, now it's running. So now we have a like local Celestia container, right? So that way you can easily sort of like debug stuff. You don't have to worry about um, spending testnet tokens or mainnet tokens at the beginning, right? Like obviously you wanna uh, hit testnet or mainnet at some point, but it, ideally you can iterate and um, like try things faster by running things locally. Uh, once you have that running, you can for example, uh, after you've already cloned Polaris and you have all the dependencies, right, you can do make start, and that will start the chain. Sorry, it's also a little bit hard to see with the projector on the wall, but um, it may or may not take a little bit of time, uh, but if anything, we can just get back to it after I talk about the other rollups that you can build with Celestia. So let's see. I can do just that while this runs. So we'll get back to that in a second, right? Let's talk about building Ethereum rollups, right? Um, or more specifically, how you can build L2s, L3s, and beyond, right, with Celestia DA, and like, why would you do this, right? So running your own rollup on Ethereum has a big problem, and that's the fact that publishing the call data for your rollup on Ethereum is really expensive. Um, here's a screenshot I took of Dune dashboard of this year. This are, the, these are all the costs of different um, L2s on Ethereum and how much they had to pay for call data, right? And this is during 2023, which um, obviously had less demand for this block space than during the bull run, um, meaning it's not congested and it's still very expensive. It's a very scarce resource. Um, so the solution to that is to have your rollup post data to Celestia. Why would you do that? It has great security, it has significantly cheaper price, and it's also built for you. Like it's a modular DA layer because it serves the purposes of like serving DA for rollup builders such as yourself. Um, here's an example of the folks at Upnode that are currently uh, running a 2048 game on an OP stack Celestia chain and where it shows how much it costs to like Execute a transaction, right? Here, I also have some math that I pulled out from our docs on like how you can like estimate these costs, right? Because I'm about to show you like how cheap it is to post your data to Celestia. Um, so I use these uh, calculations at another presentation, but essentially, um, Polygon CKVM published uh, like half a gig of data at a cost of $153,000, right? Uh, the past month, or $300 per megabyte. Um, with Celestia DA at the price of like $5 per TIA, that's uh, $4.22 uh, per megabyte, which would have costed Polygon CKVM only $2,000 in DA costs, right? Um, and now, let me get my mouse over here and I can show you, sorry, it took some time, but that is our sovereign um, EVM rollup running on Polaris, right? So that's communicating to our local Celestia testnet. Um, the way that works is essentially you're running this uh, Cosmos SDK chain um, that replaces Tendermint with the Rollkit library. So it converts your Cosmos SDK application into a sovereign rollup. Um, and that plugs into Polaris giving you EVM access, right? So you have access to all the tools that you're probably already gonna use during this hackathon. You can use Foundry, you can use 
Solidity, whatever language you want. Um, and you can connect your Sovereign rollup to existing chains by using things like Hyperlane, for example. Um, and you can sort of like start thinking about creative ways in which you can uh, connect your Sovereign rollup with other chains and transmit data throughout blockchains using something like Hyperlane. Um, but if that's not exactly what you're looking to do um, and you want to have like say like a, a, a stack that you may be more familiar with or a stack that has a native bridge to Ethereum. Um, we do have modular DA for the OP stack. It's something that um, we worked on uh, since like last year and it's been running on testnet for um, I would say pretty much the whole year um, since February. So give or take 10 months, right? Um, so the way you can interact with this, um, we have a testnet um, so the Bubs testnet, uh, the folks at Caldera are running that. So essentially, that's an OP stack chain on top of, I believe, uh, Ethereum Gorli, um, but that uses Celestia for DA. So before you try to deploy your own rollup, right, or play around with having your own OP stack chain, you can uh, just simply take your contracts and deploy them on Bubs testnet, right? See like how much cheaper it is, um, and build your app with that. That already would qualify you for like our set of prices, um, but also you can get more creative and realize like, oh, like it's really simple to deploy my contracts to Bob's testnet, and it's really simple to also deploy my own OP stack chain, right? Which you can do by looking at our docs and following the documentation on how you could do that. Um, I am going to go back here and I am going to shut down our sovereign EVM rollup. And I'm going to show you how to run the OP stack rollup. It may or may not take a bit since there's a lot of sort of like dependencies and stuff um, that OP stack has. Uh, but let's just hope that that works in time for the rest of the presentation. Um, and yeah, I mean, in theory, ideally, the, the path that you should follow. Uh, with something like OP Stack, it's like, oh, you're already deploying something on Solidity, right? Deploy it to Bob's testnet, right? Um, see for yourself how it works. Then deploy your own rollup. The reason you will want to do this, especially with Celestia DA, it's really cheap. You can build apps that like truly take advantage of the fact that transactions are super cheap. The same way that the folks at um, uh, Node something I showed the screenshot before built the on-chain game, like 28. Uh, 2048, right? Each move that you make on that game is a transaction, but because that tra those transactions are so cheap, you can just like build on-chain games, build high throughput DeFi applications, etc. Um, and once you're comfortable that like, oh my, I have my app, I deployed it on Bubs, I deployed it on the on my own like local OP stack chain that's talking to local Celestia, you can swap out the local Celestia Docker for a light node that runs on the Celestia testnet, right? Um, and at your own discretion, maybe try it out on mainnet, but um, you don't have to. It's a hackathon, right? Just use testnets. Um, and yeah, lastly, we also have an integration with the Arbitrum Nitro stack. Um, so you can deploy your own Nitro rollup with Celestia DA. Um, this is still sort of like in the beta phase, so it doesn't support fraud proofs at the moment. Um, I am the person working on that, and um, it will be done soon, but. It's not done right now for people at the hackathon to use, but you can use this version without fraud proofs. Um, it still has all the great stuff that Nitro has, right? It has stylus, you're running your own rollup, you can uh, transfer tokens into your rollup. You can use, again, tools like I mentioned before, like Hyperlane. Um, and yeah, it's also pretty much like straightforward. Um, if you try deploying this and it doesn't work, uh, let me know. Um, I still haven't written documentation for how you would use this. and um, there's also not that much documentation on how to use Nitro in general, so I apologize for that, but uh, yeah. Um, so we may or may not have had an issue with the Wi-Fi and pulling the images for OP stack on Docker, but that's okay, because we should be able to, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe showcase the Arbitrum rollup. So with that in mind, um, oh. so we have two sort of like categories for prices. Um, we have the modularizer category, that's $8,000. One person gets $2,000, four other people can get 1,000, and four other people can get 500. Um, 
this is essentially for deploying your already existing app on a Celestia rollup. So deploy it on Bob's testnet, deploy it on your own rollup. That would give you higher chances of qualifying for these prices. Um, and uh, deploy your own sovereign uh, EVM rollup with Rollkit and Polaris. And um, my recommendation is that there's a lot of cool like cross-chain stuff that you can do if you just think about using something like Hyperlane. Like how can I get, say, like uh, maybe the result of some contract that I built with Axiom on Ethel One and sort of like transfer that data to my own rollup with Hyperlane. Um, so if you're trying to, if you're thinking about building anything that's cross-chain and whatnot, um, highly recommend that. Uh, it's uh, really not that hard to qualify for these prices. So if you're already gonna build something using Solidity, um, like think about it. Um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Use whatever stack you want. If you wanna build something with Nitro, right? Cause you wanna build something um, with Stylus, go ahead and use our integration and qualify for both prices, right? Like uh, Arbitrum prices and Celestia prices. And finally, we have like a, a little bit more challenging price of $2,000 uh, Rock and Roll of Rumble, which essentially all you have to do, um, famous last words, is to introduce a new stack to the Celestia family. So you can take something like our OP stack integration. These are just some ideas that I had like 30 minutes ago, but you can um, swap out where you're settling, right? So OP stack chain settles on Ethereum L1, um, and some people may build like OP stack layer threes, but um, uh, for to qualify for this price, you could, for example, make an OP stack chain that settles on something like Gnosis chain, the Filecoin uh, FEVM. Uh, maybe you make a rollup on Chili's that uses their fan tokens in some way, right? Um, or maybe you make uh, an OP stack or, uh, yeah, an OP stack rollup that uh, settles on Neon EVM. So now you have like the first OP stack rollup that settles on Solana. Um, and another way you can also qualify for these prices is to take an existing rollup stack and modify to use Celestia DA, right? So CK Sync, Scroll, um, et cetera, those, they're out there, you know. Um, these, these are more for like the backend developers. I mean, this is like my job. I find it fun. Hopefully you find it fun too. Um, and let's see. Okay. May or may not be running. Oh, sorry. Let me run that again. But I think, I believe that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for sort of like the presentation. Let me see if I can actually get this thing running locally. Uh, but in the meantime, while this runs, uh, if anyone has any questions, more than happy to answer. Oh. Hmm. Give me a second, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Already allocated. All right. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have any questions at the moment, um, I mean, you can just reach me, uh, reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, we also have a support channel for the entire hackathon on Telegram. Um, and yeah, ask any questions that you may have on like how can I qualify for the Celestia prices or um, how do I use any of these integrations or how would I recommend you to like start looking at certain code bases like scroll or CK sync, et cetera, to modify them to make your own like new rollup. Yeah.